Hey everybody, a pleasant good day. This is just going to be a short video talking about how the sports world did the right thing. They should have paused, they should have raised awareness, and they did exactly that. And the MLB players took it upon themselves because the league didn't stand up and do anything. So, uh, where Brad Marshan, who is of course a player for the Boston Bruins, had a lot of great things to say. I'm just going to read two of his quotes because otherwise we'll be here for about 15 minutes because he said so many great things in the past couple of days. Uh, he said, this is bigger than sports, and people need to put that aside. Sports is a luxury. It's a luxury to watch the game and play this game. But when it becomes about people's safety and people's lives and people feeling comfortable enough to be in their own skin, it's more important than sports. And if people don't see that, then you're delusional. He said, I understand people want to watch games and want to see this, but it's too bad. We have bigger things that we care about and that we want to do to improve upon and people we want to support. That's all that matters. If you don't see this as more important than sports, then you're delusional. I'm sorry, I don't normally say that, but that's really what you are. Then you don't know what's going on and you should just probably stop being a fan because the sports world, like Brad Marchand said, too bad. It's going to get more political. And they're not even trying to get political. They're trying to say equality because what he said is actually... That's the one thing that people continually mix up is they bring politics into these situations. That's not what it's about. This is what Marshan said. We're not being political, Marshan said Friday during a video conference. That's not the goal and not what we're here for. There needs to be changes made throughout society. So they're here for societal changes. Societal changes shouldn't be political. Because our politicians waste our time and do nothing, that's why it's became political. You have to have an act an action to create a reaction. Well, the player stopped and was the action. Now, hopefully, he creates the reaction we want. And he also continues to say, it's bigger than hockey right now. It's bigger than sports. It's about people being equal and people being treated the same. It's about making changes. And that's entirely true. And everybody needs to change and change for the better. And if you don't, you're probably eventually just going to be outcasted by society. And... Um, he also went on to say, we all need to learn a lot about what's happening outside of our own lives. A lot of us, we don't truly understand what it's like in other people's shoes, and we need to, he said. It's the only way that things are going to change. And that's entirely true. Emmanuel Acho said something similar, that until everybody is as, I can't remember the exact word he used, but is as adamant and as raged about it as people that it directly affects, then there's not going to be change. If you're not as passionate about it as white people as other people that it doesn't affect, especially my own race, white people, then it's not going to change because you need to have everybody behind it for it to change. That's why the NHL getting behind it, that is obviously the lowest percentage league with blacks in it, is huge for people to get behind it. Now, when we move into baseball, Lucas Giolito, the White Sox pitcher, who of course uh, threw a no-hitter the other day, said... This started with the NBA, and I should say the WNBA too, because women in the WNBA really seem to be on the forefront as far as pushing for change, social justice. It's obviously a very strange time in this country. We went down with Jacob Blake in my mind. That's unacceptable. That shouldn't be happening in a developed country. A man getting shot seven times in his back, that just shouldn't happen. I don't see why that's something that happened, why it has consistently been happening for a long time. And then, again, that shouldn't happen. That should never happen. What happened to Brandon Marshall yesterday that he posted on his Instagram should never happen. You knew people were moving into the house. What the hell is the security calling the cops on him for? You obviously have a reaction just to him being there if you're calling the cops on him. You're not just doing your job. You're being a disgrace to humanity. So, and then the NBA, some of the NBA players said that... Um, Chris Paul said, who's of course the president of the Players Association, the issues of systemic racism and police brutality in our, in our country need to end. And then he said, there is much work ahead both in Orlando and long term to continue the momentum and bring about real long lasting change to our society. And of course that is entri entirely true what CP3 said. What's also been big is the MLS, which is, of course is in one of the big, big, big primary leagues, also took time to step back, and that was huge. And I don't have, I don't know as much about this. I wasn't able to follow as many quotes, but I don't have anything for that. But for the NFL, we of course had Mahomes. We had others that speak out. I mean, it, it it's just one of those things that 
is big. And obviously with the NFL, they had a huge message with the video that the players sent out where they actually started saying, I am George Floyd. I am Breonna Taylor. And the players started saying, what if, it started with, what if I was George Floyd? And then it went to them saying, I am. And that was a very powerful message. And the NFL sat out practices, which was very powerful. And then, then the practices, they didn't sit out. Mike Tomlin had a whole speech and then a prayer session with his teammates. Then they did stuff. Anthony Lynn had a whole speech and then they postponed practice. So there's been a lot of very powerful things going on. That's just what needs to happen. We need to change and we need to be better. And until that happens, you're going to keep seeing these things happen because people are fed up and you're not going to see people say, oh, I'm going to just keep playing because I feel like it or I'm just going to keep playing for your entertainment. That's the issue. They're not playing for your entertainment. They're also playing for their families, for their livelihood. That's their livelihood. They're not playing for just you. And that's what people need to understand. They're players, but they're also people. And that's what everybody gets a disconnect with. Just because they're getting paid to play doesn't mean they should play. And everyone who thinks that is wrong. So we need to change. We need to get better. And what Emmanuel Acha said is really true. Until everybody that it doesn't directly affect is as outraged as the people that it does paraphrasing then things are not going to change. So we need to shape up, we all need to be better, and we all need to get better, and that's what's happening right now, and that's huge and great to see. So this has just been a quick video reacting to all the different leagues. They're all doing the right thing. For the MLB, it was more the players just doing it. The league never really got totally involved, which I don't agree with, but the players did a very, very great job there. And then in the NHL and, and NBA, the leagues are getting very involved, and then hopefully the NFL, um, as it's getting involved, some gets more involved, and so on and so forth. So, this has been a quick video reacting to all the social issues and giving a very good compliment to the players and everybody supporting them for what they're doing. And some things are much bigger than sports. Sports are not essential. We found that out during the pandemic. They're not essential. And if you're in the market that thinks sports are essential, then you're also not really thinking straight. So we need to get better and do better. And if this video loses us some subscribers, I honestly don't care because we need to be better. I hope it gains us some because that means everyone's actually supporting the right side and the right movement. But you all have a great, safe and pleasant day, everyone. Enjoy the sports, but remember, there's way more things important than what the sports are right now. Peace out, everyone.